Hello guys, it's MLX speaking. And uh, yeah, the last um, accidental art we did, we created this uh, speedboat thingy and we created this uh, weird environment. So yeah, why not? Let's go ahead and do another one. Let's create art and uh, make mistakes and have an happy accident. So I'm gonna open up our fridge. By the way, today is a really uh, cold day. It's about four degrees. At night, it was kind of warm and sunny here in the uh, UK. All right, before I begin, I don't like uh, the white background. Sometimes the white background doesn't really help. So, yeah, let's try and tone this background. And uh, yeah, let me go to edit, besides painting. I can choose. Now, I've been doing this most of the time. Anytime I open up, I do resize painting and change resolution. But you can save presets. I actually have some presets here. There's a, I think these are two presets saved. But just to show anyone who's new and they want to find out how to resize painting, this is how you do it. You can turn up preserve aspect if you want the uh, aspect to stay fixed based on the sizes you set. So, as usual, let me let me go for 300 today because I kind of turned off my antivirus system and I turned off the uh, internet so hopefully uh, the system might be a bit fast I usually use one layer so uh, yeah there goes and let's do something about this canvas let's tone this canvas so right click canvas settings and the canvas color is where you can use canvas color and then uh, let's look for something a bit uh, more about this. Yeah, I think I like this. Yeah, I think it's <laughs> I think it's okay. Alright, for the brushes, let's see um do I want to go with traditional thick oil today or do I use the uh, PSD uh, brush? You know what, let's test, test, let's test them. This brush size is 26, and let me go for something a bit, uh, there. I like this one. That is just what I need. Or maybe not really what I need. So, okay, maybe, maybe this is not just what I need, but I'm just trying to warm things up and get something up here. Sitting at the foreground here, another thing. So in that foreground, I don't know what these are. They just, uh, <laughs> I'm just letting my imagination just, uh, just roll by. Yeah, imagination just roll by. Create stuff and have fun. Okay, so uh, yeah, my day was really. Uh, I don't know why I'm talking about my day. <laughs> But today was uh, it was a bit challenging because uh, my uh, profession I'm studying uh, environmental engineering at university, and uh, you know sometimes I get caught up. I'm just trying to do this object coming into a perspective, so I get caught up in uh, engineering sometimes, and I feel. Uh, I don't have any art skill left. <laughs> and then sometimes I just find out, oh, I have some art skill. So I don't know what's happening. Maybe uh, some people have that condition, I don't know, where uh, you feel sometimes you don't really like calculations <laughs> and sometimes you really like calculations. So, but it, it all depends. So right now I'm just uh, designing shapes and just trying to see uh, what these shapes can actually bring out, okay, uh, okay. You can see some uh, weird stuff taking place, weird forms. Now, right now there's no distance because uh, everything is the same value, that's why I like the uh, PSD brush. So if I want to make sh uh, these objects appear a bit further, okay, and just uh, set you up, 
turn it raise it up a little bit yeah I'm not cool uh, not cool Tom yeah again because I put the uh, resolution at 300 now my uh, system is complaining because uh, when I paint sometimes without uh, Oh yeah, I'm using uh, Camtasia. My friend asked me like, "Hey, what software do you use to record on the screen?" I use Camtasia. It's a, it's a nice software. You don't have to buy Camtasia. The other good uh, screen grabbing free software is I saw one uh, free screen grabbing software, and I was very very. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know I had to buy this one. <laughs> But it's a good investment, so uh, I can use it anytime, anytime. So I want this foreground uh, to be uh, really uh, right now. So I'm gonna uh, turn off the brush a bit. I want to think about some uh, lighting. I think about some more lighting. Uh, yeah, this could be my light source. This could be my very weird light source. <laughs> yeah, let's just fill that up. And then as it goes down, it just desaturates and turns into this uh, tallish kind of green. Add some yellow. And some kind of weird tony kind of yellow sky. So for this shape, I'm just going to add uh, just some weird stuff in the ground. Not like more workbench mode. It doesn't really clutter and uh, don't really have much clutter around. All right. It's the weirdest background ever. Maybe. Some real lighting now. Where this green is like uh, playing out here. I'm just gonna take the brush side down and just put some of that in here. Yeah, and some of that over here just to you know, give some sense of lighting. Some weird shapes. Yeah, just like that. And just put some more lighting information here. Yeah, let's make this floor. Uh... Yeah, I just nuked out to some of my details. Or we'll get it fixed. And that's a good thing about accidental art. You just do stuff and let it take over. Do stuff, let it take over. What am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> but I like it though. Let me make this 
brush a bit smaller and then uh, I'll do some funny stuff. Just add more detail or character or whatever it is I want to add here. I have no idea. So now I want to fill up this uh, spaces here. Maybe some of the light. Maybe some orange. Yeah. It's not going to be the same orange all through. I'll add some uh, reds. some of this here. Just give it some kind of weird atmosphere. And I'll use the knife. Get back to the oil brush. Pick some of that glow. And use it here. Gives it that uh, texture. This is just to blend away, blend away these edges. It's uh, given some kind of weird visual sense. There's some weird, blurry visual information right now. I think these parts are too. Uh, I don't know. They're not really uh, helping. Right now. They're not helping me out. They're not helping out right now. So what do we do? Uh, we don't care. Let's just keep adding stuff and see what goes on. Okay, that's a bit too harsh. Get this some um, kind of blocky uh, feel. Now I'm gonna fill all this <laughs> regions up. It just looks too white and boring. And I patch this up, patch this up, patching game. Yeah, someone asked me like, uh, 
what I use. It's a Wacom into us. The one by uh, I think it has a Louis Louis Van Barl. Is that a name? How you pronounce your name? It's the uh, arts kit with Louis. We come with Louis. Sorry. Yeah, I like the way it comes. Uh, it's really nice. It's pretty unique. I would like to have more of these lights, please. Just to describe and find some weird edge. Okay. Yeah, I'm not zooming in because sometimes I become a victim of zooming in too early. You zoom in and uh, just add too much detail. Nice looking at some weird alien pillar, alien pillar. I'll just use the knife and just blend some of that. And this edge here, let's blend the edge in these colors, let's blend them together nicely. I still don't like uh, this part, so I think we can just blend them together. And that's the problem with the uh, PSD brush, I think I have to modify my uh, so-called special PSD brush because it becomes difficult to blend colors if I use this one the uh, traditional thick oil and I just drop in some water color like that and I just use the knife and see the way it just cuts it like, well, like that so nice Wish I had a uh, butter knife. Butter knife. Hmm. Can even create a knife called butter knife. Okay, back to the accidental paintings. Yeah, this part. Well, it looks kind of like a washed out, weird, blurred out weird <laughs> I think I've used weird like 200 times now and that's the feeling I'm getting right now okay let's blur out these edges so we have this like lost edges I just ain't really they aren't really defined back to the brush I'll use the uh, Here's the brush. Select this, blend a little bit, select this, and it over here. Use the knife, try and blend back to uh, the oil brush, select this, and it over here. Use the knife, blend. Yeah. I like to have a region of definitive color. Like this part, it's just one uh, view, so I don't want that. I don't have like mixture of views here, so I just use the knife to drag it up a bit. I think that can give you the effects of like uh, 
heat waves, everything that goes up, or some distant kind of grass. And just drag this up, 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 up like that. No, not for you guys. Okay, just up, up, up. Yeah, well, pick some light, dial this down to like five percent, and then just try that around, you know, just like that, and too much uh, mono. this I think I can uh, bring back those pillar looking kind of thingies uh, make sure this has really dark value because it's going to be like closer to us uh, maybe something like this then you see that it's really closer to you then uh, just place this So already it's mixing with the canvas, but the colors, uh, the light direction is all weird, but you know, no, no, I don't want this to look like a tombstone. <laughs> Another one. Some lighting. Maybe that's too bright. Try something like this. Yeah, cool. You can do that. Can leave with that. Also some of this. If it's too bright, then just. Tone it down a little bit. And make some different hues. I might do something like this over here. And then just put some more. Weird lighting detail here. Ten. Change. I think everything is warm here, and I like this design. I don't. Uh, I put that weird marking on everyone here. You have these weird markings. And so I'll just pick more interesting, I'll just pick a color close to it. And then just add some detail. Photo away, so uh, yeah, the design is going to be a bit uh, harder to see because it's further away. So, uh, just to have another variation, I'll just add this like that. I think what will happen if I add some of this purple here. It's looking like some weird swamp. I like it since I am. Let's bring that a bit 
for most of this. Make some of the sky for. Still a contrast net. The brushes on size are 11, very small brushes. Add some weird detail. Now you can just drag this um, side to side dragging. Just the knife and just drag this from left to right, just to bend this a bit like that. And this edge here is looking terrible. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna make it more interesting. there it could be anything over there no uh, it could be anything we're just sketching from the mind imagining stuff and what if this was part of something like this Became like broken. Yeah, it looks like that. It's kind of weird uh, contraption. No, because I'm making this dark, it looks like it's part of the foreground, and I don't want it to be. I need to like desaturate that. There could be anything. We don't know. Some of this. I'll also do some of that. Some of the environment colors. Over here too. So let's zoom in and see. Ah, we've left a lot of edges <laughs> with a lot of patches. Okay. Let's try and make them more clean. Okay. Yeah, patches everywhere. I cannot cover every patch. <laughs> Yeah, at least I tell myself. So now if I want, I can go in and begin to detail stuff. I'll add more details. Um, okay, I'm trying to zoom out. <laughs> I forgot how to zoom out. Well, what do you mean? Let's go. So, cover you up. Cover you up. What if we have a vehicle? Like, I don't know. Like a space vehicle. Yeah, it would be fun if we have a space vehicle just parked around here, you know. Just when we take off, you know. yeah, some kind of weird uh, spacecraft thingy here, you know. Just waiting, you know. Yeah, 
Yeah, won't be bad. Let's just quickly create some weird crap. It's looking really transparent right now. Let's go for the sh shadow. I'm going to make this a bit dark so that uh, yeah, notice that it's a bit uh, dark. I think I should give it another value. It's going to be really different from the uh, surrounding hue. So I put this uh, cyan looking color. And let's use the knife and just blend some of these colors. So I want the craft to have some uh, kind of design and put some uh, lighting at the bottom of the craft just to show uh, it is some sort of craft. That's not this line again. I think I might not need that <laughs> because it's ugly and terrible. And we don't want ugly and terrible stuff in art. But if ugly happens to be your design, then why not? Ugly can be beautiful. Embrace it. Cool. Something to really make this ship stand out. Yeah, what about this purple? one weird ship I guarantee I think that's the best color to use on this guy, but let's go with it. Go ahead with it and see. I don't like the shit. It's not really working. Well, we'll just get ahead of it. Okay. 
Oh, shape's taking too much time. <laughs> That's why I need my reference. I do not have any reference. Contrast a bit. It's trying to help. Maybe I might zoom in a little bit because I am losing some quality. Oops. Let's use the uh, canvas rotation tool. Is uh, it's kind of telling me, hey, dude, I need memory, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I know. So, just to get the stress off my mind, that's why I paint sometimes. Maybe everyone has a reason they paint, fine, it's cool. Does he have a reason? I'll just make this a bit smaller and uh, try to drop some highlight in those edges. Give some shiny, you know, shiny. Some of this is part of the uh, shape design. I think that's too large. Yep. Weird shape design. Weirdest spaceship ever. Does it look like spaceship? <laughs> Send it to my friend, like, hey, you know what? What does this thing look like? Does it ring a bell? Any bells? He's like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. that annoying friend. some of this
Let's go out a bit. Can just get that close, just like that. it for my uh, quick sketch <laughs> I uh, hope you like it if you do like it don't forget to subscribe and check out a weird painting next time so uh, yeah I'm gonna have this on upload you can download it check it out whatever if you want the full video anything you want so uh, see you guys next time take care